Kudzu. It's been called a vegetable form of cancer, the plant that ate the South. So you'd think farmers would welcome a bug that eats the invasive Asian vine. Not so much. It, it, when this insect is feeding on kudzu, it's beneficial. When it's feeding on soybeans, it's, uh, it's a pest. So you think that's going to be a problem in soybeans? I think it's going to be a problem in soybeans. Researchers believe this member of the stink bug family probably hitched a ride here from the Far East on a plant or in someone's luggage. It was first identified near Atlanta in October 2009 and has since spread to most or all of Georgia, the Carolinas, and a few counties in Alabama. They saw, I believe, 10 to 20 plus percent uh, yield loss. Uh, it, right now it's running rampant in the southeastern United States because um, it's new here and it doesn't have any of those natural enemies uh, to keep it in balance. Green and his colleagues are experimenting with sprays to control the pest. So far, the results have been mixed at best. And that has farmers like Jack Richardson worried. Well, I sprayed them twice, but it doesn't seem to kill them. So, uh, I, yeah, I'm worried about it. We don't need any new pests. we got enough now. Researchers are also studying an Asian wasp that preys on the kudzu bug. In the meantime, Green says farmers in other parts of the country had better brace themselves. We're looking at climate data from um, its native land to see how far it's going to range in our latitudes here in the United States. And I think uh, it's going to be able to um, dwell anywhere in the United States that we grow soybeans. Since about two-thirds of the states produce soybeans, American farmers have a lot to lose. Alan Breed, Associated Press, Blackville, South Carolina.